We're gonna go get the rental car, walk Layla, and head over to the boat. Layla's excited for a walk. There's a lot of motion right now. I mean, I've, I've gone from anger to crying to happiness to bitterness to everything. <laughs> but Colin said something that kind of made me think, you know, in Florida, we don't, we don't have to get off the boat because we don't have long winters. You don't have to get off the boat, I guess, in Maine either, but you know, since we're not from Maine. Um, but it's normal here to do that, so it's really not as big of a deal to them because that's kind of like, you know, that's what they do is during the winter they get off the boat and... But anyways, I kind of think of it that way, I guess. And it is, it's, it's definitely a changing time for me. Um, I've been living aboard for 10 years. So it's, um, it's my, it's been my life for 10 years since I was 21 years old. I'm glad we're doing it though. It's, um, it's going to be a good thing because, um, it's been 15 years since Pete's redone the deck, the decking on Norna. The oakum, we don't think we did the tar right. Uh, when you pour the tar, you pour one layer in and then all the bubbles come out and you pop those and then you put another layer of tar in. We didn't do that, we just tried to fill up this, the whole thing with tar. We're gonna try that next time and maybe do a layer of cotton and a layer of oakum. And also, since we are in northern climates, I think we're gonna use linseed oil. Um, see, in Florida, we didn't use that because it makes the decks black and have dark decks like that is horrible. It's so hard on the boat in Florida and you'd have to oil it almost every day to make the boat stay, um, keep from drying out. We used that water base, which worked really good to seal the decks. It didn't soak in, but at least it sealed it from the sun, so it didn't, you know, it didn't get weathered so quickly. Um, so now I think we can go back to varnish since we are in northern climates. I don't know, we'll have to kind of think about it, but I definitely think varnish and Tongue oil is definitely okay up in northern climates. That water base is kind of nice though. What you doing, Layla? <laughs> we are gonna winterize the engine. And after we winterize the engine, I'm gonna start loading up the truck. Starting the engine on land. Uh, Having the water. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of telling Annie. It won't even heat up for a while. It's not even going to heat up up here. Right. So don't worry about that. I was just trying to get the water pumped through there. Okay. So go ahead and, when I tell you, go ahead and start it. Okay. Start pouring this in there. I'll flip the alternator. Alternator's on. Started it. Okay, ready? Yep. Pull this up and put it that way. There you go. Sleep in front of the seats. With my feet tucked under there, my head down there. Or you could put your seat back, back too. I See how far know. back yours comes? Oh, thank you. We got everything packed in the car. They've actually got diesel here. We got the car packed up. Now we're just running some errands, getting a few things. So, you all want to see nature's candy? So these things are called husked cherries, and they're in a little husk. And you pull the husk apart. You pull out the cherry. They're all wrapped in their own individual wraps. Gonna be busy cleaning out the sump in the bathroom. And I have some bolts here, the keel bolts. And they are here. I've had
kind of left them exposed so I can get at them. But I'm going to take some lanolin and shove it in there to protect it. I tried Collins for a little while, but it was a pretty slow going process. Um, so far a bent nail wins, or a bent file, something kind of bent over and thin at one end, but kind of tapers to be a little thicker, so you can kind of see, especially on our decks because our decks are a little thicker, but you can see how it's kind of tapered. About this length is pretty good. It'd be nice if the handle was a little bit bigger. I need to have more leverage um, but really this size isn't too bad maybe a little bigger like that much and uh, yeah it really hurts the, uh, the cotton out so thanks to Claude and Fleckeroy for giving us that just needs a little modifying I think we'll figure it out it'll definitely work it's definitely um, it will work, it's just a little slow going from, from what I need it for. Just needs a little more modifying. Really cool. Anyways, I'll be sitting here doing this for a little while. things I learned. Um, right here, this was old oakum, and it looks really good, and it's still really pitchy. <laughs> pitchy. It's still really um, sticky. So, um, I think this was still kind of good. I mean, it was starting to get old, it looks like. Uh, it rips pretty easily, like I can kind of pull it apart pretty easily. Then another kind was this cotton, which was, which pretty much is disintegrating. Um, and this is uh, cotton, and you can tell it's real old and it's just flaking apart. But it kind of looks like toilet paper or like paper towel after a while, a while. So those are two types of things I noticed as I was hammering things out or raking things out. Um, and another thing I noticed, like I think this oakum is actually pretty dang nice, man. Like almost like I, I wouldn't have to really pull it out, but it is kind of due. I mean, that's pretty due. But this is new oakum that I found here, and you can tell I, it's it's really hard to pull apart, and it's really nice looking. It looks kind of like hair, you know. Um, so this is still really good uh, caulking in here. Um, it was no, nothing from here back, and then I got to this, and it was good. And then I got to this seam, and now I'm getting to cotton, which obviously is just disintegrating. Um, so we're definitely noticing that our, the reasons why our ducts are leaking. It's a long process, but it's worth it. We're getting there. Edges. Layla's barking at somebody. She's pretty good at telling us when somebody's here, which is good, but sometimes it's a pain. Anyways, excuse Layla barking and Pete yelling at Layla. But I just want to mention these little pieces right here that are kind of like edging or whatever of the deck. There's probably a name for it. Um, you have to be real careful not to break them. So you gotta not pry too hard when you pull out the caulking, because this is, you know, this is a very delicate little edge here. So there is a little bit of finesse, a little bit of gentleness to work the caulking out. 
in this area. You gotta be real gentle when you pull out this stuff. As gentle as you can with a sharp knife tool thing and a hammer. You know, you got caulk in here. This little edge looks like it got kind of chipped a little bit from Pete scraping, scraping the tar. Because first he's been kind of scraping the tar and breaking that first seam and getting rid of the first mess. And then I'm coming around and making more of a mess by pulling out caulk. So. Gently pulling out caulking in this little tiny area here. We're working kind of late tonight, just because we had a late start. Plus, we've eaten pretty good today. And now that we got a car, it makes it so much easier to be able to get food or whatever we need. Because um, sometimes when you don't have a car, that takes most of the day.